Hey y'all, Binks here. Today is a really cool day. My favorite roguelite of all time is the original Wizard of Legend. Uh, that might surprise a lot of people because there's so many other great roguelites, but it's really the first one that like picked me up and, and grabbed me in and, and made me want to get really good at the game to the point where I was beating it almost every time with random uh, arcana. And I really sunk a lot of time into that game. I have it on my Switch, PC. Uh, I think I have it on my PlayStation. I have it on my phone. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful game. Uh, the second one has a huge stylistic change. I believe it changed uh, publishers or developers. I'm not exactly sure, but they kind of sold the IP or, or transferred the IP. And this kind of got shadow dropped this demo for the game. Uh, I just saw a Reddit post about it. I haven't really seen anything super official. So I'm really excited to just jump in, give you my unfiltered thoughts about this game and just like let you know how I feel about it from someone who put hundreds and hundreds of hours into the original Wizard of Legend and loved it. Uh, so let's start. I have not seen a single thing about the demo. I've seen some stuff about the game and I've seen uh, the way it looks. Uh, I've heard a little bit about how it plays. I don't know how much it differs from the original Wizard of Legend, uh, but I'm just really excited. Like, uh, I, I kind of feel like a kid at a candy store a little bit. Good luck. Thank you. Hello. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just a skeleton attacking him. Uh, do I have attacks? Can I kill you? Okay, so this is like the basic. I have a fire basic. Okay, my Y does a little freeze. Man, they just let you start doing stuff immediately. Now, one thing that a lot of people... <laughs> you can't run through pots anymore? Okay. <laughs> the game is over. <laughs> so the pots in Wizard of Legend, they give you gold, but it's completely random. So you're just being... Um, you're just playing... <laughs> you're just doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't pick up every pot. And you used to be able to run through them as you're running through the level. Uh, so you kind of go through them, but now you have to shoot them. If there's one thing I, that's gonna actually make me get so mad, it's that, and that's such a that's such a comical thing to be upset about. Uh, I already got the um, got the dashes. Uh, the dashes feel very similar to the first game. They're very fast, super responsive. I don't know what the heck to do against you, Mister Freezy Man. I guess I have to hit you from behind. Uh, knowing that I'm gonna have to shoot every pot in this game is giving me anxiety. Uh, because I used to, like, hate that I would force myself to go around and just 100% every level and get every single gold coin. And now having to shoot them. And why, why am I even getting gold now? It's the demo! It's a demo! This is, this is like a tutorial level. The gold isn't gonna matter. But I, but I, can, I still have to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry for, like, the... <laughs> Anyone who's watching this who's like, what is this unhinged person ranting about? Uh, okay, so I, I see petals drifting me this way, but that means that this way is the, the way less traveled, you know what I mean? Okay, signature. The blue bar beneath your health gauge represents your signature bar. When it's completely filled, your signature arcana becomes charge. Activating a signature arcana consumes this charge, allowing you to unleash its full power. Once the signature is fully charged, it will gradually diminish over time and will be lost if unused. Okay, so my Y, I can now do for my super attack. Okay, that looked really cool. <laughs> oh, it was a fe wait. This is just breakable stuff. I, th I thought I broke through a fence and I was so smart. What is this? Why can't I pick this up? Everything about what I'm standing over makes me feel like I should be able to pick that up, but y you know, fair is fair. Uh, okay, so let's move over here. Dude, the Arcana actually looked really nice. There's like a little cutscene almost, man. I probably wish that I would have kept, uh... I kind of wish that I would have kept my, uh, signature Arcana charge to deal with this room, because it looks very annoying. But that's okay. We're, we're sick as hell at the game. Many people say that about me, specifically. Dude, the new dragons look really cool. That was like one of the, um kind of uh, signature kind of like attacks that you could do is those little dragons. Uh, the indicator that they attack that might be new? I don't know if there was like a specific attack indicator in the original one. Uh, but I like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Okay, these guys... Okay, that was like my first hit of damage in a long time. I wonder if I could charge that or something. It was a little weak. Man, dude, these guys are... Uh, it's just 10, but it freezes, so maybe you're... 
Maybe it's like something that's nice to, to use. All right, you got me, that was it. I feel like uh, the game wanted you to get your signature Arcana charge for the beginning of that fight. <laughs> And I, I took the way those patches. Throughout the floating lands, those hold the voice acting. For clearing a level. Remember, if you don't touch the Arcalith when you're done, you won't get your reward. That's sad. <laughs> Why does it let you do that? <laughs> okay, holy water increase the vein chance by eight percent. Vading also triggers your revenge effects. Uh, that's quite interesting. Attack burning enemies with lightning arcana to reset burn. That's that's interesting. So there's like dual arcana kind of synergy stuff you can get. There wasn't really much of that. Uh, 10% or 8%. Well, I mean, obviously, like 8% is worse, but maybe we get some revenge effects. I think we just take the 10% for now. Used wet <laughs> Okay, I've stopped getting the gold, man. Just, just move on. Okay, very different art style with this. So you go to different islands. So in the original one, you'd go through two worlds and then you'd face the boss in the third world. Very consistent. Oh, I can kill these little guys. Uh, it's a little bit different. Or maybe it's the same, but it's just like... Uh, it just looks a little different, I said. I fell in the pit. Oh, you know what I heard? You could, like, pit and... I thought I read. I thought I heard somewhere that you could get a second to like. If you dive into the pit, you could dive off immediately. But I think that's just a lie. Don't, don't talk to me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to prove something to my chat that's not here because I'm on YouTube. I gotta use my right bumper a lot faster because it recharges. Um, I can even do like a, just a smaller version of it more often. It was that just gold or something? I gotta stop hitting the pots, man. I it, it I literally like you might be laughing, saying like, oh, you know, he's saying he's gotta stop hitting the pots, and then you just immediately hit a pots. It's 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 so hard not to do. I I wish I could describe. I'm not gonna do it there. Just just to prove that I can to myself. Um, I wish it gave you some indication of what those rewards were. It kind of felt like nothing happened. And when when you do something and you don't like rectify or realize your reward, I, I, in my opinion, it tends to feel bad in these games. It's like why do, why the heck do I do that? What is going on here? Okay, that was just like a. In your textbook. Uh, wait, you don't have a textbook. What an egregious Got Some purple. I don't have a textbook. That's a great point. Not gonna hit that pot. Hey, dude. You're really not that scary. I can just kind of stun lock you. Stun locking is a pretty important part of this game. Um, that's why, like, big, wide, sweeping things are generally better. Uh, enemies get much harder to stun lock, usually in the later stages, because they just don't hold a stun for too fast, and they have, like, ways to... Oh, nice. Little signature. Um, they just have ways to kind of get around it. Or if there's like multiple enemies, you can't just kind of sit there doing the same thing, right? Dude, this is like no joke, the difficulty level here. Like, I'm very good at this game and I'm almost dead. Obviously, I took a lot of pitfall damage. But I feel like if you're not like used to the Wizard of Legends playstyle of how to use your attacks, like you'd be getting absolutely crushed, like super early. Maybe you're supposed to die really early and then kind of introduces some mechanics to you. But I'm just, I'm just built different. I get all the pots. Oh, hello! A few enterprising merchants have set up shop within the floating lands. Uh, I, I mean, I need help, man. I, I, I can't die. They've taken a vow of silence to prevent haggling. This is just called. This is just called health. Okay. I, I mean, I wish there was a little more. I guess maybe in the original version of Wizard of Legend, there's also something like you're supposed to destroy like literally everything that you see, like all of their stuff. Uh, because this could all drop gold as well. So if you're trying to like gold max in this game, uh, it was always the most beneficial to destroy everything. And that was so annoying to me because it's like, I want to be optimal. Congratulations. Now get ready to do that for every section in the jungle, desert, and castle biomes. After that, you will face Hieronymus in battle and become the new Wizard of Legend. 
Simple. They just kind of spell out what you have to do in this game, huh? Kind of respect it. Okay, you got a boss for me? Oh, dude, it's, uh... Remember, it's Atlas, I think was his name? Very similar looking. These elements fight dirty, but I know you can handle the wizard. Look, I evaded that. Um, okay. Okay. Damn, they got me. Man, that was super aggressive. Okay. So, I mean, the biggest thing there is like... The bosses fight a little bit differently. The bosses in the original game, they would have three attacks and then they would be stunned. It looked like he put his hands on his knees a little bit to the point where I maybe could have went in and attacked him. Um, but it didn't really give me a good indication as to what to do. So I'm guessing you're not supposed to win. I didn't really get anything to, to get stronger or anything. And cleaner than this. Once I've become the Wizard of Legend, I'll scatter magical props all around. And perhaps install a magical disco ball. It's so weird this having voice acting. To make sure to pick clean them corpses' <laughs> pockets. Pockets? How about we focus on where to dump them first? Running out of grave here. Are these wizards <laughs> dead? No, they're all just having a little lie down. <laughs> Playing a round of nap in the box. They went in on this you voice think acting. You are tombstone tricksters. Coughing comedians from the Bureau of Burial Clowns show some respect for the dead. Dropping like flies, they are. How much respect can you tools? Why are you here? I I really don't want to listen to a loud cutscene, I'm not gonna lie to you. How many times must I meticulously specify? The main courtyard is off limits. Return to your task immediately. We'll do the first one. I'll, I'm gonna skip the rest of them if I'm being honest with you. Welcome to the mansion of Hieronymus the Legend. Hello. Banish those negative thoughts. Allow neither fear nor hesitation to <laughs> undermine your brain the and determination in facing the trials ahead. The trials of legend are oh, they got long him. and arduous, but you will surely triumph. I hate to bring this up now, but can I return for the next round of trials? I don't think I'm ready this time around. I think I need my camera here, so sorry if I was covering some things. Uh, okay. Select one of the registered wizards. We can do Cormio, who has assassin boots. After dashing, 100% critical chance. Um, that seems insane. Five second cooldown. So you dash in, you hit a bunch of crits, and then you vibe. Uh, attacking burning I mean we definitely take these assassin boots right uh, the matchstick is just kind of whatever but uh, being able to force criticals uh, is is insane um what the hell is going on here the voice acting is kind of crazy okay I think I'm in the right spot now uh so I, I had a bunch of resources that I just didn't really use last time so don't, so don't worry about that uh Interesting. So, so will every time you I wonder if there's like online sharing capabilities with that. Uh, it's kind of interesting. The yard, and behind me is the I like her voice acting. I don't the like the main wizard as like an anime teenager. The echo <laughs> it feels a little off. I, I'm sorry. I'm 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 terrible. There's gonna be so many things, especially if you wizard. haven't watched me play games before, that'll the annoy the hell out of you. <laughs> Who made it to the end of the trials and disappeared? Ooh. Oh, crap. My Aunt Mulan is watching me. The apparatus is amazing, right? This beauty is my favorite part of the trials. Is this where you're just going for the trials? This big clunker is the apparatus made by the Geomancer Nazreddin to run the trials for him while he counts his money. 
So true. Since he can't be bothered, it's up to wizards like you to feed it chaos. Don't knock on my door, you idiot. I want to sleep. This brush is a model Chroma C Chroma yeah, this is how I... enchanted to function on its own. That means it can make new arcana with the touch Interesting. of a button. No user I like little paintbrush. Required. Because modern Bro, just let me just let me do the thing. The skills behind arcana creation. You're not a big deal here in the practice. This brush is a model Come on. Chroma C Chromomancy brush enchanted. Thank you. Okay, Arcana. Arcana serves as a primary combat skill. Okay, basic. We have rock. Let's just switch everything up. We'll go Earth Knuckles. I did not like that signature at all. We'll go Zephyr Whirl. Standard, we will go Lightning Spear. Uh... What the hell is this thing? This form contains the many arcana that we oh, listen to that guy. Ambrogio only has like All right, let's just let's just go. I'm sorry, I can't I can't deal with that. There's just like a lot of talking. Okay, so now we have Now we have iron knuckles. We have a whirlwind that pulls in. We have a sweet lightning spear. Yeah. Dude, this is very like hulking attacks. Not, not as much range as you kind of want. The the iron fit or the uh, earth knuckles were, it felt a little bigger and a little bit less like early lag. Okay. Okay, we're starting to get some combos going. The Y, the Y, um, the Y has a very short cooldown. And it's kind of nice. Um, Seems like you can kind of like uh, you know pull them in and then and then zap them all. Kind of a nice little combo we have going early. Uh, looks like I miss. Okay, I gotta try and get to a fight. Get to a fight. Get to a fight. My signature's running out. Okay, perfect. Cool. Oh, that's not good, man. Jumped off again. If I push them off, they'd take a bunch of damage. Pits are actually really good in this game. Uh, even though, like, you can fall off of them sometime, it feels kind of bad. Uh, so I can, like... Wait, I can't... How did he not get pulled in? It doesn't pull them into pits anymore? Uh, okay, maybe, maybe they changed it because that was a little OP. But, like, wind stuff used to be the best at, like, uh, skirting around pits, pulling enemies into pits around you. Uh, but maybe, maybe they think it's a little bit too good. Potentially. Yeah, this lightning thing feels really sh Oh, okay. You just took a huge shit of damage for no reason. Man, dude. This game this game takes no prisoners, man. For real. This game, this game does not hold back. Okay, that's a mini boss. God damn, man. Uh, I've taken a ton of damage. I really don't like these knuckles in this one. They're so, like, weighted. They're so heavy. Uh, when an enemy comes out of shock, it zaps and shocks its adjacent enemies in a chain. This effect won't shock the same enemy twice. Uh, dashing through enemies will damage them. The figure, the strikes hard and onlookers. Melee are kind of the old 12% increased damage. That's okay. We'll do Ouroboros. We have a pretty good, um, we have a pretty good lightning arcana. I mean, we're not going to make it very far, uh, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, is there any, like a map that I can look at? Uh, I, I, don't, I haven't found anything that resembles a map. I feel like there should be a shop or something we can deal with here. Um, 
That was one thing I really liked about the original Wizard of Legend is that they just kind of had this map that you could follow and then it told you your map progress. Maybe uh, that is something that's planned for the future in this game. Again, this is a very early demo that they haven't honestly really advertised for very much. Um, so there's, it's hard to say that this is going to be like super representative of the uh, end, end result of what they're going to have. Um, and it really does look like, like, you know, you were, I was joking about breaking the pots. I feel like the pots are insanely necessary. Now I'm looking at like 62 coins. Like coin gain is really, really important in these things. Uh, is this where I started maybe? Might be where I started. Uh, so that was the only side path I'm, I maybe missed. Okay, we'll head to the end here. Uh, man, dude, it really sucks to be at 20 HP already. They, they don't hold back. So it looks like there's two worlds and a boss at every one, which is, I, I guess, the same as, as was in the last one. I wish it would give me the chance to find more Arcana. Uh, I feel like having just two... Like having your main Arcana, like your basic Arcana, and then two main ones. What is this? I wonder if there's like a challenge room, I would, I would guess, is what it seems like. Almost like damage there for no reason. Uh, I do wish there was a little better indicate. Oh my gosh, the delay, dude! What do a delayed attack against me? Okay, uh, twenty percent lightning damage plus ten damage. Okay, so these are enhancements to your Arcana. Uh, Zephyr Wind plus 45%. Spin once moving an air vortex pulls them towards you and slows their movements, but you also do 45% damage against him. Uh, let's do 20 damage on the Lightning Spear uh, for 50 bucks. Uh, it seems like a decent deal. Uh, 20 damage on like one of our main damage healing spells uh, should help a lot. Uh, I mean, it's just going to be about not getting hit. I mean, we're at 5 HP. We're going to die very soon. I think if we die very soon, we're going to try one more run because I really do want to give this like a fair shake in this video. Uh, I'm just surprised, like, the fact that they just didn't hold back on how punishing a lot of stuff is, is damn impressive. Like, how do you get enough money to afford anything? Doesn't feel like there's enough drops as far as money goes. Maybe if I can get through this last little bit, I can get some health before going in. Maybe I could just, you know, stop getting hit forehead. Maybe that's, like, the answer. Uh, instead of just complaining about everything, you know? Is why gemstones are superior. I wonder if there's some Forward, spike traps, huh? The there's spike traps in this one, is the no thing. All right, let's run it back. Um, okay, so you always start with something. Berserking sandwich. After being hit, you have a two second opportunity to heal yourself by hitting enemies. Each hit for you, uh, ten percent of the last damage received. Seems interesting. Uh, non-upgraded Arcana deal more damage. Hands the Arcana will lower its normal damage. Damage back to normal. Uh, we haven't enhanced anything, so this would basically just give us pure damage. Um, I think I have to take this one. Like, if we had some way of, like, upgrading things, maybe I, I would not be super bad. It's merely a game for him. We need a more exciting... Okay. Welcome to the Observatory. For sure, dude. Don't be weird. Uh, the apparatus. The apparatus oversees the trials by using chaos gems that grants a diverse array of permanent buffs during the trials. Uh, maximum health wizards by thirty. Ah, this is this is it. It's a very early upgrade. I read about this. Uh, we'll take vitality. I mean, 30, 30 health will go a long way. 30, 30 health will go an incredibly long way. I tell you what. Uh, now, I will say, one of my favorite things about the original Wizard of Legend is that it had none of this. Like, you could boot up Wizard of Legend for the first time and beat it, because there's no way to permanently increase your wizard. And I love that about the game. Now, obviously, uh, a, a lot of other games having success and having that progression system clearly has led to them uh, uh, coming to the conclusion that uh, it is something that consumers want. Uh, and, you know, who, who am I to say that... Uh, I know better than 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 consumers, right? Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I guarantee you that I don't have uh, more knowledge than than regular consumers. 
Uh, sorry, give me a second here. I slightly resized my window. And it's going to bug the hell out of me if I don't change it back. I'm just trying to move uh, move my scene over. Just, just, just let me grab it. Okay. Um, that, that is a little bit disappointing for me. I did like that the only progression that you had in that game was getting better at the game. I thought that, that was cool. I thought that was unique in the roguelite. Era. Almost every other roguelite has those systems in place. Slay the Spire is another one where... You can boot up Slay the Spire for the very first time when your very first run. Uh, now you get more cards. Sometimes those Look, are... Dustopius. Oh, Brumio! Items in this mansion. Oh, That's some uh, great so art. My dear Brumio, that it's our unexpected motion that has caught the wizard's attention. Rather than... It's better to be noticed for any greeting. Oh, I love that. Uh, there's a little broom broom guy in the, uh, in the original one as well. Um, huge fan of that right there. Uh, can, will you let me change? The magical war like, will you just let me change? Our of it's it's very frustrating that like you have me go there. Okay, uh, the wind carries you swiftly to your opponents, where you unleash a flurry of punches and kicks. Okay, let's see what that one feels like, and then we're we're gonna do the stone strike kick uh, as our signature. Ah oh, man, I don't know if I love this. Like, it's very nice that you can like just jump in and hit him okay and you can dash out of it okay we're fine with that okay so it's just a it's just a diving punch huh what it, what is the effect it causes it causes additional damage afterwards it's kind of lit um push you forward damage them and pushing them back uh maybe that's just like the uh maybe that's just something that um if how the hell, how the hell am i supposed to say it Maybe it's just something um, because of these guys that they have to get pulled back. It's like an enchantment for that. Okay, so we're going to take a completely new Arcana uh, loadout. I guess you just can't talk to these guys uh, because I'm not I'm not listening to that thing over and over again. If they told me what to do. But we're going to get to the boss this time. We're going to give the boss a real freaking go for his money. That is my that is my promise to you, YouTube viewers. We've gotten better. We know what we're doing now. Oh, it does have... It's like a DOT effect. Why doesn't it tell me? Oh, I love that. You've emerged victorious for now. But don't get too cocky. There's plenty more challenges ahead. Okay, what do you what do you got for me? Where are you? Oh, your health! Wow, where were you like every other run? I guess we can come back here now and get health. Uh, which is really good because we've been losing a lot of health. Uh, so having somewhere we can refuel some of it. Uh, this melee attack actually feels like quite nice. Actually feels really good if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I like this loadout a lot more than uh, anything we've had yet, uh, and that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, one thing about Wizard of Legend is just uh, learning how to um, better use like every every different uh, type of thing they have at your disposal. It is hard because it doesn't have a huge, like, wide range of attacks. So it's very good against, like, single units. But it's, uh, doesn't... Oh, come on. I took so much damage because I was locked in my ult and getting hit by the environment. Oh, I did not like that at all. Um... Okay. Uh, let's keep moving on. We do have health back there. We don't have to grab it just yet. Like, when we, when we face single enemies, uh, our build is kind of crushing it. The groups are hard because of the melee attack. Um, man, how did I get hit there? I felt like really bad damage. Now, it could be bad damage because I shouldn't have gotten hit, or it could be bad damage because it felt like I shouldn't have gotten hit. Um, but who knows what the what the real answer is there. Okay, now 120, we're taking a lot of damage. But again, we let's just go back and heal now. I bet it's not uh, 60 health. I bet it's not like a third. Probably close to a third. Maybe it is a third. We're going to feel stupid for going back already, but uh, I just don't want to uh, daddle too long. Let's try and grab one and see what it does. Okay, so one gave us 25. Okay, cool. I wonder if those are set. I, I don't remember if they were set or uh, if they scaled with your max health in the last game. Uh, kind of interesting to see that. Uh, since this is going to be the last one, let's talk about overall thoughts. Uh, now, this is a demo. 
Uh, and it's a demo that, like, like I said, they didn't really advertise for very much that I saw. So this very much feels like it's kind of a test that they're just throwing out there. That they're not like, you know, trying to be like, hey, man, this is this is exactly what you're gonna get when you play Wizard of Legend. And uh, maybe now maybe they are. I'm just misreading how they're how they're doing the marketing. Maybe I'm not. You, you, no way of really of knowing at this point, right? Thirty damage there is bad. Um. So what I like, the combat feels like Wizard of Legend. Uh, it feels just as fast paced. It feels just as cool with every ability feeling very different uh, for better or for worse. Um, it feels very, very similar to Wizard of Legend, how you do it. So if you like the combat of Wizard of Legend, you'll jump in here just like I did and immediately start to like the combat. Now there's probably some small things that are different, which are part of the reasons why I'm getting frustrated. Uh, <laughs> but um, It'll just take time. It'll just take time. Okay, increases your critical hit damage by 25%. Uh, critical hit heals you. Evade chance by 8%. I think we want evade chance. These uh, these vampire eyeglasses are one of the best, uh, best like kind of like early win items. Uh, but I don't know if I have any critical hit chance or what your base one is. So let's just take um, let's just take the holy water. Uh, pure eight percent damage negation is uh, is good. It's just good over time. Um, I don't think we need to backtrack at all. Uh, from what it looked like in the second world, was where we found our um. The second world was where we found our shop, and it looks like it's just a normal shop. I don't know if they're gonna change this much at all, but um. You know, in, um, in Wizard of Legend, there was a bunch of different, like, special stages, shop characters, arcana dealers, and every single floor, and I think that was honestly part of some of the charm of it, so I really hope that this is just an example of what's going to be in the game, and they didn't just completely kind of get rid of that, like, trifecta of shops that you get on every single world, because right now it just looks like you have the one guy that doesn't say anything on the third world, and that... Uh, honestly, it's a little disappointing compared to, uh, uh, what was in the previous game. We have to give everything its fair shake, right? Okay, nice. Using, using those to your advantage seems to be very strong. Wow, I took 20 damage there, huh? I mean, it's, it now now it feels oh my god! I've, it feels crazy how easy it is to get hit in this game. Uh, I don't know if it's just I'm not used to the timings of the enemies or what, but uh, a lot of the damage that I have taken has felt frustrating. Um, and again, maybe that's just like a little bit of a learning curve. But uh, again, when you're when you're going from one game, especially a game that you know at this point is pretty pretty damn old. Like uh, I think the the original game came out. It must have been like 2018 or something or 2017 so it's like you know a seven year old game they're, they're obviously going to change the systems and you know it's not so it's really important I, I think it's very easy to just look at situations like that and be like oh it's worse because i'm not used to it and i think that's a somewhat unfair way of looking at things like that in games okay so dashing through enemies damages them seems okay i don't think anything belongs in museums based Based, dude! Insanely based! Uh, that's kind of a, a, a illusion to the original game, uh, because you were kind of in a, in a museum, uh, touring like the Wizard of Legend, and then you get kind of sucked in. Okay, this is ridiculous. The, 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 <laughs> how hard this, these levels are, man! Oh, 60 damage from just a guy? Just a dude? Just a 60 damage to you with an attack. Oh, I mean, it's not fair for, again, it's not fair for me to be getting frustrated like this about it. Because uh, it is me who is, who is getting hit, you know? He, he made it, he made the, the sound that he was gonna, gonna hit and then he did the thing where he hits and I should, I should have known that that was happening. But it, but it does frustrate me. Uh, these guys hit really hard. Now, it could be more of like the original, like kind of, Hades idea where you're not just not supposed to win early and you're so weak right now because you don't really have access to these additional arcana shops maybe you unlock those shops or through like that um little transmutator or whatever as you uh gain chaos energy uh, or chaos gems which i have 26 of at the top so maybe 
the progression of the game is that you unlock more and more of these uh, shops and then you get stronger and then you can get stronger and then your gold game gets better and then you can actually get a lot of gold uh, so you can become stronger by the end so you're you're a little bit hit a little bit harder you stun a little bit harder you're not having these same problems that i'm having with these enemies again that could be the case um but there are definitely there, there are definitely some very frustrating things i would say about the game at first glance uh for things that have been kind of stripped away that don't feel as is uh, uh emblematic of what you would expect from a quote-unquote se sequel to a game is, is this called you know this is called wizard of legend 2 uh, let me not forget okay you guys you guys both suck i'm very happy i just i just i just beat you okay so we can upgrade our main attack for free uh to afflicted enemies let's just take the free one that's fine okay so you definitely want those gems because just pure pure upgrades like that are, are really nice there's a lot of you know, you know i'm very interested in like there's a lot of things on the side that look like in other games what items <laughs> would look like you know like that little like kind of like glimmering like pillar of like shining light when i see that in my eyes i'm like oh that is that is something you can pick up okay ice breaking hammer Hitting frozen enemies with an earth or kind of will break them. I mean, we're just taking health, man. But this means that we're going to have 115 health going into the boss. Now, like I said, I'm going to get to the freaking boss for you. And I'm going to give it a really fair shake to, to try and get some damn damage on this guy. Uh, he seems very, very hard to dodge. I think for the first round, I'm going to focus completely on dodging, not hitting at all. Try and see if there's a point where we can stun him. And, and then uh, hopefully get something going here. This guy does look reinvented pretty pretty well in uh, in 3D. I do, do think it looks pretty cool. Okay, just just take some circles. Okay. Two. Whoa, okay, dude. Three. Like I can't tell if he's stunned or not. It kind of looked like he was stunned. Wait, can you just attack him after everything? Okay, 15. Okay, we got this. Okay, good dodge. Good dodge. Okay, good distance. Holy shit, dude, he's doing it. So a couple more unfiltered thoughts. Uh, the music just isn't really there for me. I really like the the very thematic music of the first game. Um, overall, it seems very early, and this game is supposed to come out this year. So I hope that this is just a very kind of technical showing of, of what it can do, and they're holding a lot of things back because um, the combat does feel very fun. Uh, the, the boss fights are a little bit off. I wish there was a little bit more to it. Uh, but overall, I mean... I'm definitely going to play this game when it comes out. Uh, I'm still really excited for it. I don't think that this really changed my opinion of the game that was coming. You know, I saw like the art style. I saw kind of, kind of what's going on with it. It's just like, it looks like Wizard of Legend, but um, I, I just really don't know how everything's going to feel because a, a lot of the core gameplay elements of Wizard of Legend uh, were really, really important to me and really, really cool. Uh, but those are my unfiltered thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I'd really appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, I play different roguelites here uh, as often as I can. I play Marvel Snap on my main channel. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Leave me down in the comments below if you ever played Wizard of Legend. And does this look better or worse the same? Just give me your thoughts on it as well. I will see you in the next one.